Hi, and welcome to the instruction video for Wednesday, February 3rd, your asynchronous work. So I hope you all are enjoying your snow day. And the next time we'll see each other will be on Thursday. However, you still have work to do on Wednesday. Remember, the first two Wednesdays of this semester, so February 3rd, and February 10th, you'll be doing asynchronous work. That means we will not meet together as a class, but on your own, you'll be expected to complete work, which you'll find in the Schoology folder for that day. So let's get started about what you need to do for your asynchronous work on Wednesday, February 3rd. Firstly, you wanna make sure that in your Schoology course, you're looking under materials. Your course will look a little different than mine, but wherever the materials tab is, make sure you go to that. And when you scroll down, you will see at the very top, a work list. If you open that work list, it'll take you to a calendar that shows you what we're doing for the week. This work list will be updated weekly, so you can keep track of everything that you have to do for each week. You'll notice that it says on Wednesday, there's materials pickup. If you have materials for a class, you can come to school and pick it up between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. Underneath that, it says asynchronous slash homework, and it tells you that it's due Thursday, February 4th before class. There are two things that you need to do today. On Wednesday, you can click on the link to access the assignments. The first assignment is a unit one vocabulary matching, and the second is finish your goal setting document. So this is one way you can access the assignments for Wednesday. The other way you can access the assignments for Wednesday, I'm gonna go back home and I'm under materials, is to go in the folder. Our folders are arranged by units, then weeks, then days. So if you click on the unit, unit one, it says week one. When you open that up, the folder that you'll see available to you is Wednesday at the very top, unit one, day one, asynchronous work. When you open that folder, you'll see that it has in it the history of an age of the earth document. And this will take you to what you need to do for Wednesday. So you can click that open, click that open, and it'll take you to your assignment. So again, you can use, oops, you can use the calendar, or you can go into the folder. Okay, so what do you need to do for these assignments? Let's start with the first thing on Wednesday, which is your unit one vocabulary. So what you're asked to do for the unit one vocabulary matching is you'll notice that there's a table on the first page with a word bank on the left. These are words that you need to know for the first part of this unit. Then there's definitions. There are definitions in the middle with pictures next to it that you can use to help you. And then there's the terms on the term boxes on the far right side. What you'll be asked to do is you're going to cut and paste the correct term next to each definition. So I recommend you try this first on your own to see if you can figure it out. For example, the first definition, a graphic representation of the passage of time that shows the arrangement of events in chronological order. If you read that definition and you read through the words, Mesozoic era, Cenozoic era, Precambrian era, era, 
supercontinent, mass extinction, evolution, and you get to the word timeline, that sounds like the definition for timeline. So what you can do is you can control X to cut and then next to it, control V to paste. This term goes with that definition one. Now, what if you don't know the word? That's fine. Here's what you can use to help you. If you click on the top, there's a Quizlet link that helps you. So if you click on the link, it'll take you to the flashcards. The first flashcard I see has the word Pangea on it. If I flip it over, it says the last supercontinent that split apart during the Mesozoic era to form the seven continents. So I need to find this word Pangea in my list. I scroll down, here's Pangea, and I also need to find that definition. Remember, the definition said the last supercontinent. So I'm gonna look for the first three words to help me find it, not the entire sentence. It's not one, it's not two, it's not three, it's not four, it's not five, it's not six, it's not seven, it's not eight. There it goes, number nine, the last supercontinent that split apart. Awesome. So again, I'm gonna highlight that word, control X to cut it, and then paste it next to the correct definition. You wanna have all of the terms listed here. And again, you can use the flashcards to help. Let's try another word. The next word is ice age. So if I flip the card over, a long period of time where the Earth's global temperature decreases, causing an expansion of ice sheets and glaciers. So I'm gonna look for a long period of time. And again, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Number 10, Ice Age, wow. Two in a row that are right next to each other. How cool is that? Let's do one more. The next word, evolution. The change in the characteristics of a species over time due to natural selection. There's also a picture here that can help as well. Notice that there's that picture there, a change in the characteristics of a species over time due to natural selection. Well, that word is evolution. Let's find it in my word bank. There it is. So again, I wanna highlight the word, control X, control V. You wanna have all of these filled out. So that's the first assignment, is to complete just the first page of the vocabulary matching using either your prior knowledge or the Quizlet flashcards. Once you have this filled out, you can stop. So when you're done with that, like I said, you stop. You do not have to submit this because we're gonna to continue to work on this document for the rest of the week. So just do the first page and have that ready for Thursday. Okay. What else is on our list for Wednesday? The second thing is to finish our goal setting. So if you click on this link, it will lead you to the goal setting document. Now, if you were here on class on Friday, you know that we set goals. So you have probably some of this done. The instructions on how to set goals are here. The first step is to choose a poster that you want to use. Now the posters are found on slides three to seven. So you may use the target, you could use the road, the soccer net, the track, or the mirror. Once you found the one that you're interested in, let's say for example, I like the road, what I'm gonna do in that one is first write a, a goal for term three. For example, maybe in for term three, for my science class, I wanna make sure I get an A. So I could say my goal for term 
three. Well, actually, that part is already written, so I can just finish that sentence. My goal for term three is to get an A in my P's class. So wherever the red question mark is, is where you write your goal. The next thing you want to do is describe three things you're going to do to achieve that goal. So I will achieve my goal by, well, one thing you can say is doing all of my homework assignments on time. Another thing I can do to achieve that goal is attend support hours and ask for help when I need it. And another thing I can do to achieve that goal stay organized and check my grades weekly. So to get an A in my P's class, I want to do my homework all on time, attend support hours and ask for help when I need it, stay organized and check my grades weekly. These are three things that I can do. So that's the first part, is to set your goals and describe three things you can do to achieve those goals. So that's steps one, two, and three. The last thing on the last slide is to answer the post goal setting questions, and you're going to type your answers in the boxes. So what are these post goal setting questions? I know I have reached my goal if and when. So how do I know when I've reached my goal? Well, in my case, since I want to get an A, I would say I know I have reached my goals when my grade in the class is 90% or higher. Oops. The second question is, why is this goal important to you? So this goal is important to me because I want to do well in school to make my parents proud and so I can get into a good college. The last question is, someone I want to help me reach my goal is. Now this can be a friend, a parent, another family member, a teacher. So in my case, someone I want to help me reach my goal, I could say, is my mom. Or maybe it's your best friend, or maybe it's your sister or brother. So whoever you want to help you reach your goal, identify that person. And then that's it. When you're done, you can go ahead and submit it. Now one last thing about this goal setting document. You see all of these posters that I didn't use? You can go ahead and delete them, keep the one you use, but delete the other ones. Finally, if you want to write two goals, what you can do is you can use more than one poster. But in my case, I'm only going to write one goal. And then that's it. You would go ahead and submit this. All right, I hope you found this instruction video helpful. Good luck with achieving uh, and accomplishing the two things you need. Remember your vocabulary matching, which is this, and your goal setting document, which is this, for Wednesday. Have a quality day.